Hello everyone, good day. My name is Anil Lapokozi. I am the founder of the Academy for Digital Learning and Master Studio, ADLM. In this video, I'll put us through how to make use of the new and greatest ADLM Plan Swift plugin for roof quantity takeoff and material preparation. You can also check out our previous video on this channel on how to make use of this plugin for finishing takeoff and other quantity takeoff items. See you in the video. So let's pick things up from our last um, episode. Last episode um, video we discussed finishes and use of the delay plug for material takeoff. Now let's pick things up from the by adding doing our quality takeoff for a roof using the ADLM plan with plugin. It's a very it will be a very short video, and this will be the last video on this series. For you to do this, let's create a new folder because we'll be loading a joint that has roof. In, so they'll just call this roof design. Okay. Please don't forget to watch this video to the end and like this video as more videos will be coming up on this channel on our plugins at ATL. Once you create this folder called roof design, use this plus to add pages. Then from file next, we we'll navigate to where we have our drawings at. Document. These are how you navigate. I think I have them inside my YouTube folder. Okay. So I'm using this building to a simple, very simple roof drawing. Next, true color. Next, finish. This loads in my new drawing in. Just convert it converts to TIF and loads to join in as easy as that. So once you have the new joins added here, I'll select the first join, then shift the last join. I'll just drag this inside here. So you can see this is a very simple one. You have the ground floor plan, there's the dimension view, the roof plan, this and the elevations, the section. There's a building section and we have the 3D view here. Okay, we have this for this simple looking building. Now, first things most, we want to calculate our roof. We have to get the slope of this roof. First, calculate for the slope. You come back to page. Um, tools rather, you come into tools, you see page other calculations. You have pitch here. Select pitch. You select the first point, the last point here. Select that. That's 6.9 this so another thing we have this is um inverse just take the next direction as from here to the top that's six still six point nine twenty nine point eight approximately thirty degrees so this is seven thirty degrees mm -hmm. okay so go back to our roof plan so roof plan here our roof is sloping to four sides uh, and it's thirty degrees so you just come back to roofing under the plugin here. Select roof covering and turn this on. Class scale. So let's kill this page first. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel as it will help this channel grow faster. So we click on scale. That will be 7.55. That's this dimension here. Then click on the first point and the last point. And moving on, we have 17.28 and scale 17.28. Okay, so we pick the first point and the last point. So that's that for so now we can now come back here, turn this on. Our pitch remember is in degrees, this is showing in degrees. So that's 30 degrees. The folder now should be roof. Okay, roof is the folder. Click OK. So we'll pick the roof based on the slope. So we'll pick this point first. And click next point. And there's an, an error here, so I'll come back to fix that. And the last point here. 
Double click again for this also. So this here and the last point. Remember there was an error here, so we have to take all the sense of that and come back to fix. So once you've done this, right click, stop. You can just come here and make adjustments to this point. points. It's as easy as this. So once you've done this, you already have your roof quantity here as 151.2 square meters. Now we'll turn on the ADNM plugin. That's this up here. As it plug it up. So we turn this on, we we'll go back to roof. Then also the roof covering. See the UI here? Roof covering. It tells you to impute the slope of the roof. So that's 30 degrees in degrees. So the 30 degrees. Okay. So you have your rafter, your pole line, your tie beam, king post, and ties, all of these in meters. So it's giving you to the last digit. So this is approximately 194 meters, 163, 75, 23 at this. So it's giving you your roof members automatically. So you see in just less than a few minutes, you can easily measure out for this. And that feature of this plugin, which I'll be showing right, is because the material breakdown. In our last video, you can check out the last video on the material breakdown. So you can select any of them, concrete, the mix ratio, calculate, you have your cement shops and granite. Formwork, you have that. Then just select any of the concrete, any of the formwork, you have your material for that. Let's go back to the take of view here. So structure. Then we have this here. If I select any of them, I can view their quantities outrightly. Now, if I can just click this to export to Excel, I click on export to Excel, the folder name, substructure, remember the folder, I can save to where you have a project. So, remember where you just navigate to where you save this entire project, this substructure file, save, yes. So, it has showed us that saved here already, so let me just open that up for you to view this. Now, let's take off. Substructure. So now here's the beauty of one of the beauties of the ADNM plugin. You see this arrangement here. Just wrap text. Come to this point, centralize, and voila. You have your detailed description for each item of work is on the BSMN excavation to compact the level. See how detailed description is. For every item, so it, uh, treatment, compaction, concrete. So you have each detailed description for every item of work in your bill of quantity. So with this, you can just put the price, do a little bit of manual adjustment, and you're done with your substructure bill of quantity. You understand? We just the see the detailed description based on. So you just always just click the export button, it gives you detailed description. Do you understand? So that is just about this. You can select another item work. Let's work on another folder. And let's work with ground flow. The ground flow you have this here. Okay, export this to Excel. Ground mm -hmm. flow. Okay. Saved. So you check out ground flow folder here. Yeah. And ground flow file rather. Double click. See your detailed description. Wrap concrete formwork to basic finish columns, column link. You have your detailed description and you have your door schedule. Okay, so that is just about that. So you can reach out to ATLM via our WhatsApp page or the link in the description of this video to get this plugin. And we need a blend that information. You can reach out to ATLM. I'll catch you in the next series. Bye.